What's going on everyone? It is Andrew from MAO Magic and I have the Philips Hue dimmer switch. So about a year ago, uh, they came out with the Hue Tap, which was a little piece of hardware that would allow you to change the scenes as well as turn your bulbs on and off. Uh, it did not allow you to dim them, which was a very common complaint from people, but it allowed you to change scenes, which was very good for maybe less tech savvy people in the household, or maybe just guests that you want to be able to have turn the lights on and off. Uh, so that was their first entry, but it was very expensive, it required the bridge, uh, so while it was popular, it definitely had some room for improvement. So now we have this year's uh, dimmable switch, or dimming switch, uh, which actually comes with a bulb, which we're going to look at first here. Uh, the first thing you notice is it looks different than most of the Hue bulbs that they have out there, particularly the Lux. The, uh, both of these are white bulbs, they can't change color, simply do all the other smart features, just can't change color. Uh, but it looks different, it looks more like a traditional bulb, which may be a reaction to some people wanting a more traditional bulb. Uh, the other thing that's notable is it's 50 lumens brighter, uh, which was another common complaint with the Hue bulbs, is they weren't as bright as people would want. So this is slightly brighter than a standard Hue Lux bulb, but otherwise, it uh, pretty much works the same. If we look at the hardware switch itself, this is gonna be, uh, Parts of it are going to be similar to the tap, others are going to be different. Uh, first off, it actually uses a battery compared to the tap, which was motioned, uh, use like the kinetic energy of your press to signal it. Uh, it does have a wall plate, which you can remove the remote from, uh, just like the tap could kind of switch off. This time it's magnetic, which I was which was one of my original complaints in my review. Uh, the mounting plate looked very ugly, so when you took the, the tap off the wall, it was very ugly and had like all this... So now this looks much cleaner and nicer, so if you have the remote off here, it doesn't look so bad. So it's nice and magnetic, allows anyone to kind of carry it around the house or keep it mounted on the wall. Uh, so here we have an actual Hue Lux or Hue bulb uh, in a light socket, so we're going to put in the new dimmable bulb, the Hue white bulb. I don't really have a fancy name for it or anything like that, but we can go ahead and compare both of these and see how, how the bulb stacks up and then how the dimmer switch actually stacks up as well. So you'll first thing notice it's going to come on right away when you plug this in, uh, as long as there is power to that light. So don't be surprised if it just lights up on you really quick like that. But it does look, if you don't notice, it looks pretty much like a standard bulb compared to the Hue Lux or any of the other Hue line, which are very flat. So aside from the actual look of it, it is 50 lumens brighter. So you, it, you can't really tell if you look at them, but the one on the right is maybe slightly brighter. Uh, the other thing is it's faster. So those are turned on at the same time, but the new bulb turns on and off much quicker like a traditional light bulb. Whereas the Lux and the regular Hue bulbs kind of have like a delay of a second, half a second to a second before they fully come on. So there's the two main differences as far as the bulbs are concerned. It's faster and slightly brighter. Now if we go ahead and look at the installation. So similar to the tap, which had those command strips, it has two pieces of adhesive on the top and the bottom. This plate actually comes apart and you could use screws to mount it in there if you don't want to use adhesive, but a lot of people I'm sure are just gonna stick with the adhesive option. And then you just go ahead and pick a spot on your wall, maybe next to my nest here, and simply press. And you're, go, you're all installed, very easy. It does remove without removing paint, or so they say. I was not willing to test that right away because there is no like replacement adhesive on the back. Like before you just use the the command strips, uh, just get new ones, but now you cannot do that. So this does work without the bridge, without the bridge compared to the tap which required it. You can simply hold that on button and it'll go ahead and pair with the bulb itself. You can use up to 10 bulbs without a bridge or using the application here, we can actually go ahead and hook it up to our bridge and control as many as we'd like. However, once it has been paired to a bulb, you do have to use a paper clip and hit the setup button in the back for about a second until the front starts to flash with a little orange or amber light in that top left corner. You do have to have something thin like a paper clip though because it is kind of deep and a pen will not work. Simply choose the option whether this is a new setup or if it's already been paired to something. It'll search for a few minutes. It'll then go ahead and search for the bulb. If the bulb has already been added or found by the Hue app, it may not show up right away. So you can simply search for this bulb later. So it's not a big deal if uh, this does not show up right away when you're doing your initial installation. You can now see we have our dimmer switch here inside of our devices. Now when we open that up, it'll allow you to choose which scene you want to control, whether it's just all the lights or if you want to set up a specific scene. So when you hit the on, it immediately goes to a specific color set or a specific room set. So if this is just for the kitchen, maybe you have a kitchen scene that you want to use, however you want to set it up. But that is a kind of a limitation because you can only use one scene with this compared to the tap, which you could use three to four different scenes, depending on which buttons you want to program. 
Uh, if you look here in our lights, you can see we have at the bottom our dimmer light. If we go into the settings again, apologies, uh, if we go into the settings, you can look at lights. You can see at the bottom we have dimmable light one, which is simply that new name. Instead of the Lux or the white light, it's the dimmable light. And they're the ones that ship with the system. Here you can see simply pressing the buttons does exactly what it should do and turns all of your hue lights on and off as well as allow you to dim them. So this is very handy if you don't actually want to get anything out. Uh, you just want to dim your lights, you're watching a movie, anything like that. As for the pros and cons, it works with the Hue Bridge, so it'll work with your existing infrastructure, or it can work without a bridge with up to 10 bulbs. Very handy. It is brighter than the standard Hue Lux and the hand standard Hue bulbs. It's a traditional bulb design with that rounded top. The bulb is included, so you don't need to go buy an extra one. And it is cheaper, significantly cheaper, even with the bulb, than the Hue Tap. On the flip side of that, if we go ahead and take a look at the cons, you may not need an extra bulb. You may already have your hue set up or you don't want a white bulb, which in case you're kind of stuck. It has that traditional bulb design, which many people may not like. Maybe they like the modern look of the hue bulbs that they already had or may not fit with the other ones. The control only works with one scene at a time, so you can't do the different scenes such as the tap, and it requires a battery, which normally is not a thing, but considering we compare it to the tap, the other hardware control they have, uh, which does not require batteries, you do need that kind of standard cell watch battery to power this. This can be found for 40 bucks. Uh, the link to purchase is in the uh, description below. If you have any questions, throw them up in the comments. Other than that, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.